This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the operating manual and internal company procedures. The Superflow PE Tapping Tee is an intrinsically safe and easy to install, gas free, 4 through 8 inch PE fitting for pipe systems operating up to 150 psi. The Superflow will save thousands when installing main connections large diameter services, and high flow bypasses. The system uses ultra lightweight drilling equipment with an exclusive tubular cutter to retain the coupon and shavings. Why use the Superflow? Traditional installation methods for high flow branch connections use sidewall hot tapping equipment or cutting in three-way tees by squeezing off the main. These current methods perform the job, but have their disadvantages, such as expensive equipment, complicated procedures, require difficult squeeze-off practices that may not provide a 100% stop, which risks worker safety and pipe integrity, require large excavations, and very labor-intensive. The Superflow solves many of the drawbacks inherent to the other methods outlined. It is a gas-free installation at high pressure on large diameter PE mains without squeezing off or disrupting the gas flow, all done in a standard excavation using current approved branch saddle fittings, making it easily compatible with any company's pipeline system. Installs in multiple configurations, all connections are assembled and pressure tested prior to tapping. The cutter held captive within the tee has special cutting edges to retain the coupon and shavings. After tapping is complete, the cutter is withdrawn to the top of the tee. A three-step closure design creates a permanent airtight seal. An O-ring on the internal cutter seat acts as the primary seal. Then there are two additional O-rings in the tee's head. A PE cap with an O-ring finishes the installation. Flow restrictions are negligible even at low pressure and fully meets the following standards. Tapping procedure. To begin, remove the screw from the PE cap. Then gently pull the PE cap to remove. Loosen and remove the internal steel cap using the hook spanner wrench. Pull out the safety pin and place all parts aside, taking care not to lose any of these parts. Match the color code on the T's drilling head to select the correct color coded shaft. Insert the 8 point drill shaft end into the octagonal drill head. Fasten the shaft to the drill head by hand tightening the shaft sleeve until it bottoms out. Pull out the spindle pin. Attach the drilling tool with the stopper plate in the uppermost position. Push to fit the drilling tool onto the shaft, taking care not to damage the internal O-rings. Hand tighten the base onto the drill head threads. Do not over tighten. Attach a gauge. Make sure the relief valve is closed. Note, the drill feed must be at its maximum stroke. 
disengage the internal cutter from the tee by pushing down and turning the drill clockwise. Once it is released, push the cutter down until it touches the main. Line up the first available hole in the shaft and engage the advanced spindle pin. Fit the ratchet wrench onto the drill shaft and begin turning clockwise to drill the main. Once drilling is finished, reverse the ratchet wrench and advance the drill shaft back to the starting position. Once you see the safety groove, stop. Wind down the stopper plate until it contacts the top of the drill shaft. Pull out the spindle pin. Turn crank counterclockwise to withdraw the shaft. Secure the cutter into the housing by turning the shaft counterclockwise. Bleed off the excess gas. Remove the drilling machine. Turn sleeve counterclockwise and remove the drill shaft. Check for leaks. Insert the safety pin. Reinstall the steel cap.
Tighten with the hook spanner. Push to fit plastic cap. Secure the cap with the metal screw. The operation is now complete.